Hey guys, it's your girl Emma here and welcome back to my channel Recipe for Success where we like to support each other on our best path towards success. Specifically, I like to talk about career input, career advice in the fields of project management and product management. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and joining our network. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about resume writing tips in 2023. I wanted to share with you guys the fact that I offer as part of my channel memberships a one-on-one -on -one resume coaching or interview coaching opportunity. And I actually had a channel member reach out. We scheduled some time together. I looked at her resume in depth, talked with her a little bit about what her goals were, what she was looking to accomplish, and gave her a lot of feedback on the fact that her resume didn't actually reflect what it was she was trying to accomplish. And this is something that I'm sure she probably didn't realize. She had had her resume professionally written. It was good. I didn't find any errors or inconsistencies, but there was still opportunity for improvement, opportunity to really drive towards what it was she was looking to do. I actually have this in one of my previous videos. I'll link it down below for you guys. And I just heard back from this subscriber several days ago Ago where she shared that she actually got her new job as a manager and is very excited about her job change. So congrats to her. But that brings me back to today's topic of when I do these resume reviews, when you guys send me your resumes and ask me to give you feedback, what are consistently the things that I'm noticing? So today I'm going to share with you guys my five top tips for resume writing in today's job market in 2023. The first tip is you really want to make sure you're using as much and as many numbers and data points as possible. The intent here is to demonstrate your efficacy, demonstrate how effective you are at your job through irrefutable numbers. Think about how large of a team you manage, if that's the case. Think about was your project delivery on time and on budget? How large was the budget? How long was the project that you managed? Think about how you can integrate all of these numbers. You really want to demonstrate the value that you bring as an individual through the use of numbers. Every time I see a resume, inevitably, I always give this feedback because there's never enough data. And when you add data to your resume, you have the ability to demonstrate results without actually having to say what it is you do. Because at the end of the day, it's not what you do, but it's the results that are going to speak volumes. The second general tip I have for resume writing for today is to make sure you tailor your resume to the job you're applying to. This is one I give to people all the time. Oftentimes I come across resumes that honestly read more like personal histories. People insist on putting every single job they've ever had down. They want to tell me about the time they volunteered for such and such organization 10 plus years ago. And while all that's lovely, it's not really relevant to the jobs that they're applying for. So if you're considering making a career switch, if you're interested in applying for different kinds of roles, I recommend that you actually start by looking at those roles on places like Indeed or Monster or LinkedIn, looking and seeing how they write their job description. You really wanna be tailing your, your resume. That means looking and curating your resume for roles that are more like the roles you're applying for, experience that dynamically fits into that experience, and making sure you're using a lot of the same language. All of this is with the goal and intent of highlighting your relevant skills and experience. So this is why it's important to make sure you tailor your resume. The third tip that I have for a lot of people that I work with in terms of reviewing their resumes or giving them some feedback is to consider having a few different variations on your resume if you're applying to different types of jobs. What do I mean by that? If you are looking for a project manager role that could break down into project coordinator roles, project manager, program manager, sometimes even implementation manager. And because of that, I recommend that you might want to consider a few variations of your resumes for some of these different titles. There is a difference in focus on program manager versus senior project manager, and you might want to tailor your resume to highlight different kinds of work for those two different roles. So it's okay to have multiple versions of your resume. I feel like most people I work with think that you can only have one resume, but that's not true. It's your resume and you can, in addition to tailoring it, you can also have two to three different variations for different types of roles that you might be applying for. 
Tip number four in terms of resume writing is less is more, guys. Sometimes I get these resumes that are jam-packed and again, really represent more of a personal history than they do a well-tailored, well-functioning resume that's specific to a job that they're looking for. And this is why I think it's important to write your resume, take a break, come back to it a few days later and look at it again and take out things that are irrelevant. Take out things that are duplicative. You want your resume to be clean, specific, to the point, again, so that way it really highlights your expertise. In this case, I honestly do believe less is more where you can take out some of the filler, some of the junk and don't feel like you have to have every little thing that you've ever done on your resume. Instead, really focus what's on the page to what's relevant to the job that you're applying for. And the last tip I have for you guys, when we talk about how to write a resume in 2023 and what's important, what's relevant, the last thing I wanna say is make sure your LinkedIn is up to date. I have these conversations with a lot of people where we talk about their resume and then I'll take a step back and say, how's your LinkedIn looking? Like, why don't you send that to me? I wanna see it as well. And what I will see is that they have spent a great deal and effort and time on their resume, sent it to a professional resume writer, things like that. And then they will not have spent anywhere near the same amount of time or effort on their actual LinkedIn. And Let's be honest, guys, it's 2023. These days, recruiters are looking at more than just your resume. They're also gonna look at your LinkedIn, and that's another way to get more eyes on the work that you're doing and on you as a potential candidate. So make sure whatever you do, I know we're talking about resume writing here, but once you have your resume all set, make sure you're borrowing specific pieces of that and your LinkedIn is up to date and is similar to your resume. That's everything I have for you guys today. Let me know down below in the comments, what are your best resume writing tips? What would you share with another individual? If you're interested in meeting with me to do a resume review, you can join our channel members there down below. You can check that out if that interests you. And congrats again to my subscriber for her new job. Really happy to hear that everything has worked out for her. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.